major feature of single note blues playing is the use of microtones. Let's take a few minutes to look into that. First, I realize some will be new to the concept of microtones. Well, simply put, it's all the possible notes between the 12 tones found in Western music. When players learn to bend notes, they're usually advised to work on keeping the bends in tune, aiming for a perfect half-step or full-step. And you absolutely need to be able to do that. That being the case, you might be asking, why would someone bend to a note that is, in fact, intentionally out of tune? Well, the answer is, you want to impart a vocal expressiveness, which is a key aspect of blues playing. Early acoustic bluesmen were singers accompanying themselves on guitar. A single note guitar line was a second voice in dialogue with the singer. Just listen, it doesn't take a great deal of imagination to hear a blues guitar line as someone speaking, crying, yelling, arguing, and so on. And in order for the guitar to have the kind of expressiveness found in the human voice, well, every note can't fall precisely on the interval. If you've ever heard auto-tune used as an effect to create a robotic-sounding voice, then you already know what that would sound like. All the blues greats used microtonal bending or sliding when crafting their lines. B.B. King is a great one to listen to for this, but any classic bluesman will do. In addition to giving your lines a vocal quality, you can also create horn-like phrases, which also utilize the same kind of vocal expression. So now I'll do a little demo, and just notice how many microtonal bends I use to give the lines that vocal quality.
can see, my own playing is loaded with little bends that use the notes between the notes, or microtones. <laughs> As I've mentioned before, try singing these lines while you play. See if you can create some expressive lines of your own. And if you found this interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.